For the last few years, there has been a war between Snaps and flat packs over which one of them will be the predominant package management system for Linux. And when this war first started, many people assumed that it would be Snaps that actually ended up winning the day, simply because they were backed by Canonical, which is the developer of the largest Linux desktop distro, Ubuntu, and they also assumed that because Flatpaks kind of started out behind and they were a little bit more nerdy, that snaps were easier to use, therefore snaps would win. A few years later, I think we can fairly conclude that everyone who thought that snaps would be the victor in the war it was wrong. Flatpaks have won. Like, the only people who still think snaps have a chance at being the winner here is Canonical itself. And even they, I have a feeling, probably see the writing on the wall. Now, why do I say this? Why do I think Flatpaks have, have won? Well, one of the reasons is that if you look at the vast majority of popular Linux distributions, almost every one of them have chosen Flatpaks over Snaps. Now, some of them have decided to go both ways, but most of them, when they have made a choice, have chosen Flatpaks. Things like Linux Mint, Zorn OS, things like that. And... When we talk about this, we really kind of have to figure out why they've made this choice. Some of it is because Canonical has been very pushy when it comes to snaps and how snaps are to be implemented. Also, they haven't done a very good job of actually developing snaps. They're still slow. They're still... the store is still closed source. And snaps have also had problems with theming and versioning and a whole host of other problems over the last few years that really haven't plagued... Flat packs. A lot of times, snaps feel like they've taken a few steps forward and then they've taken a few steps back. With flat packs, while they obviously still have their problems, it feels like they've constantly marched forward and gotten better over the time. Another reason why I think flat packs have won is simply because more and more companies are choosing flat packs to host their software on. Companies like OBS have chosen flat packs as the official package for their software on Linux. Now, while there are still some companies that have chosen Snaps, I think that a lot of them are choosing Flatpak as well. And on top of all of that, Flatpaks have simply just gotten way better than Snaps. They don't have the problems with slow loading. They, while they still have the problem with themes, there seems to be fixes for that problem, whereas, flat, whereas Snaps still have those problems and haven't decided to fix them. There has also been a community adoption effort around the Flatpak protocol where we've seen applications that are enabling more and more control over what Flatpaks actually do. do. Seem things like Flat Seal are around. I think that's what it's called. And what that basically allows you to do is control all the permissions for Flatpaks. And that's awesome. That's not something you really have seen yet with Snaps. Now, all this being said, I don't think that Flatpak is perfect. I still, still think it has some problems. The syntax for installing Flatpaks is kind of confusing because there's multiple ways of doing it. If you go to FlatHub and you copy the string of text that is required to install something, it's something like Flatpak install com dot whatever dot whatever. And that's not great, but you can actually use Flatpak install blank and it will work just fine. I think that if they really want to see more and more adoption, they'll have to kind of settle on a standard syntax that actually is human readable in order for that to be... They should make that kind of default instead of having this alternative way that which looks like you're feeding a, a long command into the terminal. So the question is, has Flatpak, seeing as how we've talked about why they've won, have they solved the problem that they set out to solve? And in order to ask that question, we really need to know why they were created. And one of the reasons why they're created is because dependencies on Linux are kind of horrible. The idea of installing a program but not having all the things you need to run it is not a great system to run. I mean, it's worked for years, but you've always run the risk of something breaking. So if you installed something like Audacity or something like that, and you needed a certain version of a certain dependency and those versions were out of sync, or maybe that dependency wasn't available or something, the whole package wouldn't run, right? That's the risk you take when you 
have the traditional Linux model of a one binary that relies on a whole bunch of other smaller libraries and packages in order to have it run at all. In that sense, Flatpak and Snaps have solved the problem because neither one of them have dependencies. All the dependencies are baked right into the main package. But because Flatpak doesn't have the problems that Snaps have, a lot more distributions are adopting Flatpaks, a lot more companies are adopting Flatpaks, and the momentum is there for them to be the most popular package management system on Linux. Now, the question then becomes, does this mean traditional package managers can go away? This one is a little bit harder because everyone knows that my pride and joy is the AUR. Like, I have fiercely clung to Arch Linux simply because I can't stand the thought of leaving the AUR behind. And I highly enjoy using Pac-Man. Pac-Man is my favorite package manager. By far. It's not even close. And I know a lot of people are also similar fans of apt. Like, they really like apt. I know a lot of people who use Void Linux who like XBPS or whatever it's called. So a lot of people are fans of certain package managers. And the thing is, is that despite the fact that Flatpak has kind of succeeded, there's still the idea that it's not complete. There's still things that you might want to download that aren't available through Flatpak. Like, they're just not packaged in Flatpak form, and you have to get those through a traditional package manager. Things like Alacrity, for example, aren't packaged as Snaps or Flatpaks. It's just not done. So you have to either build that or get it from a traditional package manager or a traditional repo. There are many different examples of that, where the package that you're looking for is just not available through Flatpak, so you still have to have an alternative source. So that's the reason why I don't really think that traditional package managers are really ever going to go anywhere, because there's still going to be cruft that they can pick up that isn't actually covered by Flatpak. So in the end, I really do think that Flatpaks have won. I think that there is enough momentum here to conclude that Flatpak is the standard that most people have settled on. And I think that that's a good thing because I think technologically and community-wise, Flatpaks are superior to Snaps in almost every way. And I think that at the end of the day, it's a good idea for Canonical to kind of see this and maybe give up on Snaps. I don't think that that's actually going to happen. But I think if they were smart, they would just go ahead and adopt Flatpaks as their own as well and start contributing upstream to it and everyone kind of get behind Flatpaks to try to make it even better. And like I said, I don't think that that's going to happen. I think that they're very stubborn. I also think that they've invested a lot of time and money into Snaps. And I think that eventually it probably will wither and die, but I don't think that that's going to be anytime soon. I think that they will throw as much effort into it as they possibly can. And and at the end of the day, Ubuntu and probably the Ubuntu flavors will be the only desktop distros that will actually use Snaps. Every other distro will use Flatpaks. Now, there will be the outliers that still use Snaps. You'll probably find something like Arco that includes Snaps by default, just because it includes everything by default, right? Uh, you'll find the one distro maintainer that really likes Snaps. That distro will have Snaps. But for the most part, the vast majority of the popular distros will just choose snap or will just choose flat packs so that is it for this video if you like flat packs or disagree with anything i've said leave those comments in the comment section below you can follow me on twitter at the linux cast you can support me on patreon at patreon.com slash linux cast if you haven't hit the subscribe button make sure you do so we really are getting very close to 10,000 subscribers so if you have subscribed already thank you so much if you haven't what are you waiting for linux content every single day of the week and it's just good stuff for the most part at least other people think so i'm still up in the air but you, you never know eventually let's just say one out of seven videos really good uh if you think that's good enough hit the subscribe button before i go i'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons robert sid devon patrick fred kramer Meglin, jack snipe tool steve a separate linux eric samuel mitchell arch center carbon data jeremy sean odin martin e. Andy, Ross, Merrick, Camp, Josh, Rolly, J Dog, Peter, A Crucible, Dark Man, Six, and Primus. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.